Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is 5 new species of bacteria were discovered in Atlantic ice core samples, the nucleotide or base sequence of the ribosomal RNA subunits were determined for a new species. The table below shows the number of nucleotide differences between these species. And we have to find which phylogenic tree represent correct relationship between these five bacteria. Usually on your exam you may be given about couple minutes to solve this type of problems and find which phylogenic tree is correctly represents this data in the table, but some students who are unprepared may spend 10-15 minutes in order to solve this problem. So today's video is about how to solve this type of problems using certain algorithm and solve within 2 minutes. So in this table we have species 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we plot against the same 1, 2, 3, 4 species. And your first question is going to be why we have 5 species which we compare against 4 and not 5. Take a look at this diagonal line and here you see that uh, when we compare species with themselves, we are going to get of course 100% the same sequence. And the last line is just not necessary, we are just going to get here the same minus which represent 100% same sequence because we are comparing here for example species 1 with 1, 2 with 2, 3 with 3, 4 with 4, so we just save one line here not comparing 5 with 5. Now the second question that some of you may ask why all the space is just empty? Because all the numbers that we have here above this diagonal line is going to be repetition. So for example one species we compare with species number 2 here and if we take species number 2 and 1 we are going to get the same number 3. So just in order to avoid clutter we do not fill half of the table because numbers are going to be the same and we are using only half of this table. Now what these numbers are representing? For example if we compare species number 1 with species number 2 we only find 3 nucleotide differences. But if we compare species number 1 with species number 3 we can see 19 nucleotide differences and that means between species 1 and 3 the distance is much bigger than between species number 1 and 2. So this number of nucleotide uh, mutations directly correlates with a time when these two species separated from their common ancestor. So the smaller number means here that the species are more closely related than for example if we compare with a large number. So let's find the smallest number and it is here number 1. So between species 3 and 4 this is minimal distance. So that means that they have to be very closely related and let's check uh, this phylogenic tree. Uh, species 3 and 4. 3 and 4 is closely related here, so let's circle them here. And on the second phylogenic tree we see that species 3 and 4 are distantly related. Take a look how much time between them, because the length of these lines directly correlates with a time. So we can say right away that this is wrong phylogenic tree. Now let's analyze phylogenic tree C and we see that 3 and 4 species here are very close. So they are separated by minimum time on this phylogenic tree. So, so far it looks good. Now let's analyze this one. 3 and 4 have to be very close. Does it mean that they are next to each other that they are very close here? Take a look. Again, this distance directly correlates with the time and directly correlates with accumulation of different uh, mutations. And of course, on this 
phylogenic tree, the minimum distance is going to be between species 1 and 2, and even between 4 and 1 would be much smaller than between 3 and 4. So we can say right away that this is wrong phylogenic tree. Now let's find species which has second minimum nucleotide differences, and this is going to be species 1 and 2. They have only three nucleotide differences between them. So let's also highlight this number of differences. So species number 1 and 2 have to be very close. Let's check this phylogenic tree, number 1 and 3. They are very close here, but actually the distance between them, if you check the distance, is pretty large. So now we can say that this is also wrong phylogenic tree. Between species 1 and 2, the distance have to be almost the same as between species 4 and 3. So have to be very close, but we see that they are not close. Now we skip this phylogenic tree, we skip this phylogenic tree, and let's check this one. 1 and 2, as you see, are very close on this phylogenic tree, which confirms our choice that this is going to be correct answer. But let's check all the rest relationship. We are not on the exam, so we can spend a little bit more time. So, for example, compare species 1 and 4, which has 18 nucleotide differences, and 4 and 2 also have 18 nucleotide differences. So also let's highlight with yellow color. That means that from the species 4 to species 1, we have the same distance as from the species 4 and to the species 2, 18. So 4 and 2 and 1 have to be at the same distance. Let's check. Here is a species 4 and distance to the 2 and species 1 is the same as you see. So this is also true. Next, let's compare species 3 with 19 nucleotide differences between species 1 and 2. So let's highlight them green. And the distance between, again, species 3 and 1 and 2 have to be the same. So our species number 3 is here. And the distance to 1 and 2 have to be the same. And this is, as you see, true. The distance is the same. It is very important that you watch my videos to the end, because here, between species 5 and 1 and 2, the distance seems like have to be the same. You see, from 5 to 1 and to 2, distance is the same, or have to be the same. But, as you see, according to this table, we have 27 and 26 nucleotide differences. So why we have such differences, not 27 and 27 or 26 and 26, because the distance have to be the same and number of nucleotide differences have to be the same. But actually this is not a pure mass. This is just a probability that at the certain period of time, certain number of nucleotide mutations happens. But you should understand that there is no such rule, like for example, for every 10,000 years, one nucleotide substitution or mutation is going to happen. So these numbers are very close and they do confirm what we see on this phylogenic tree. And the last comparison would be between species 5 and 3 and 4. And as you see, number of the nucleotide substitutions between species 5, 3 and 4 is the same. Again, when we connect species number 5 with 3 and 4, we see that the distance is the same. Usually on your exam, when you can exclude 3 out of 4, you can give an answer right away. But today, just for educational purposes, I went through the whole table. But if you practice on your exam, a solution of such problem shouldn't take you more than two minutes. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.